Plus, we're going to take a fond look back at the gadgets of yesteryear. We will visit the largest vintage Sony collection in the United States. Hey everyone, it's Tommy and Anthony here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. And sometimes that includes stuff that was made a very, very long time ago. Do you have a favorite classic Sony gadget, like something they made a while back? Oh my god, there's so many. I um, used to steal my older brother's like yellow Walkman. Yeah, the sports like, Walkman. The one that played cassettes. Mm -hmm. Old school, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it was all yellow and happy. And Love fun. those. Hey, my favorite was the Watchman. My dad had the old black and white Sony Watchman. Oh. And I used to sneak into his office and steal it. To do that, we want to take a moment to pay a little respect to Sony history. Take a look. My name is Ken Stevens, and I'm a senior VP for Sony. I've been with Sony since 1983. I started collecting very early on. The collection, to me, represents excitement, technological breakthroughs, things that are just as exciting as tablet is today. In this collection are some pretty notable pieces, like Sony's very first television. From 1960, we have the TV8 model 301W. And this television is so old that it doesn't even have UHF capability. This is back when there was only VHF stations. This is the very first Walkman, and this is from 1983. It has um, a steel housing, so it's very durable, very rugged. This button on top is a talkover so that you could keep your headphones on but still have a conversation. Before there was Walkman and before there was stereo, personal mobile entertainment look just like this. And, you know, this is from 1960 AM. It was known as a, uh, a six-transistor radio and um, came with the earphone. Most of us growing up had portable cassette recorders. Back when I was a kid, there wasn't um, recorders of that type. They used reel-to-reel. -reel. And um, this is from the early 60s, and these are uh, the three-inch reel-to-reels. This is Sony's very first Mavica, and this was the first camera that didn't require celluloid film. I remember this being introduced by Akio Morita on the Today Show in the early 80s. Uh, back then, we didn't call it Mavica. It was known as Mavica. I don't know when the name was changed. Probably, you know, it was mispronounced so often that we just went with it. So in the late 70s and early 80s, this is what projection television looked like in America. The piece that I'm standing next to is a uh, KP5000. Uh, it's a 50-inch screen. This drawer pushes back, folds open, and exposes a mirror and projection tubes that bounce off the mirror and light the screen. This is the way we enjoyed uh, anything larger than a 25-inch uh, picture tube in 1980. What we have on the table in front of us are iconic pieces of Sony's technology, milestone pieces, if you will. This is a Betamax. This piece dates from uh, approximately 1977-1978, and um, as you can see, has the old-fashioned rotary-style uh, tuner. This tape deck is from 1977. It is a uh, Sony TCK7. These are all solenoid, electronic touch and feel. This meant that it was very silent. There was no loud clicks. This is an Esprit amplifier. Uh, this was from a line of high-fidelity product that was designed by Sony. Sonically, absolutely wonderful. And uh, it came to me from um, Akio Morita, our founder. This was um, part of his high-fidelity system in his apartment in New York. This is the 4100 color television. This was the uh, first of its kind, a very small four-inch screen, but color. Sony made this to uh, fit very nicely on a desk. Very typically Sony, it wasn't just a superior Trinitron color picture tube, but also a dick pocket dictator. This is the Sony Watchman. It's a one-inch black and white television. And as you can see, this is a uh, Detroit Tigers logo piece. These were seen in the early 80s in the stands, so that uh, not only were you watching the game live, but you had your television for the instant replay. Now, I don't think very many people would know what this was just by looking at it, but it's actually a turntable. And it's done in a very space-saving vertical design. And uh, it's designed for the album to sit right in here very nicely. And uh, it plays either 33s or 45s. 
This is by no means it. Uh, there are many more pieces in my collection, but we would need an entire day to walk through them. So hopefully you enjoyed um, some of the pieces that we selected today to share with you.